how do you know? Sis, sis, sis. How do you know he's an F boy? Like, how do you know he's an Higgy Haga boy? The boy who wants to play games with you, wants to play with your head. Okay. How you been? How you feeling? How's your mama? How's your daddy? Yeah, how's your mom? How's your dad? Like, new girl or whatnot? <laughs> I'm joking. But, so, let's get into this video because today... So, basically, this is a new segment on my channel all about relationships, all about the... I wouldn't say the, the ins and outs of relationships. You might have story times about different encounters that I've had with guys and all of that and not just relationship in terms of like guy and a girl also like friendships and stuff. we're gonna talk sis today we're gonna talk so this one's for my girls that are tired like I see this stress on your shoulders girl let me take it off I'll tell you right now me myself like okay let me let me just tuck this in let me just tuck this child in because it's, it's gonna get real. We're gonna get real. So, okay, let me take a sip before we get into this because today is a whole lot. It's a whole lot, okay? So, today we're gonna be addressing you, little boys. I'm not gonna talk about men because real men. They know how to treat women right. They know how to, you know, treat a woman good. You know, set good, everything set good. No problem, no headache. Like, I'm talking about you, headache. All together we say... Nico, Nico. That's who I'm talking about today because I'm tired. And I'm, I'm pretty sure my sister's like, they're tired. If you're tired right now and you're watching this video, girl, you better say amen because I know you're tired and I feel your pain. Oof. I feel your pain. You know the pain is hurting my waist. You know what I mean? It's hurting my waist. And for me, like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Like people think, you know what? Pretty girls have it easy. You know, you don't have headaches with guys. I'm sorry, but I'm here to tell you. I feel like we had the most headache because. Oh. Stuck with him. Wow. No, you knew he wasn't fuck me. <laughs> Why you gonna speak about these f boys? All right. We're gonna talk about you guys real quick because. I need, to, I, need, I need to enlighten my sisters. I need to, to, to give some knowledge to my sisters so they can look out for these red flags that, how do you know? Sis, 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 how do you know he's an F boy? Like, how do you know he's an Higgy Hugger boy? The boy who wants to play games with you, wants to play with your head, who wants these boys? If you catch yourself talking to a nika, 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 who just knows how to say sweet nothings like you know when the thing is just sweating in your ear like everything's so sweet like oh roses are red violets are blue you know i'm your ching yang of your ching chong baby sis don't listen he's telling you oh i want you to have my babies i want you to meet my family you're the one he's telling you i want to take you to dubai oh i will take you there baby i'll show you the world i will take care of you you know you have to not to you don't have to worry about anything in life because i got you i got you i got you i got you i really do you really got me like do you, do you, Oh, and he's just talking nonsense and he's like oh yeah you're the only girl you know they'll tell you now you're the only spice in my stew sis when you're cooking your stew how many spices do you put like listen <sighs> but babe don't listen to sweet nothings because they're really nothing like it just sounds sweet in the ear but two minutes later does he even remember what he said yeah i thought as much it comes along with they don't really keep their words like he will tell you oh to, on friday we're gonna meet up cool friday comes where's the phone call Tell me, have you received any text to explain I'm not meeting up anymore? And you're seeing the boy, he's doing Snapchat, he's doing yo, 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 ooh, cool, 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 this and that. He, he's now doing a young gunner on Snap. He's now singing Meet Me on Snap. Babe, sorry, did you forget that me and you today were meant to be meeting up? And it's just literally crickets. 
He just crickets the whole day. Babe, if he does that to you once, run away, run away. Because I'm pretty sure this is going to be stupid. He's going to tell you, I had to walk my dog. Yeah, stay away from that. Oh, okay. Basically, you know those guys that call you baby girl, you're my bae, you're my world. You know, this is bae, you're my babe, like baby girl. We message you, hey baby girl, hey big head. Excuse me. Those guys. Oh, they're mother. Oh, I don't want to swear. They are mother. F mm. He doesn't remember your name. Besides calling you baby girl, you pick it. Oh. He called me baby girl. Oh my god, he cares about me. <laughs> yeah, you know them ones. He now message you. Oh, babe. What are you doing? I'm like, oh, nothing. I'm chilling. What are you doing? Oh, I'm chilling too. You know what? I'll have a big day with you. If you would rather be here with me, why are you not on the motorway right now on your way here? Hmm? If you would rather be with me, what, what what are you still doing in your own house if you would rather be with me? Since you say you, you miss me so much, you care about me so much and you want me so much, why are you still in your bed? Why are you still in your bunk bed even? The bunk bed that you and your brother and your sister share. Why are you still there? So guys, if you're watching this and, you, and you've done this to a girl, please answer me. Wh why? Why, why, why? Like, yeah, he's a fuckboy, babe. Like, babe, just leave him alone. Just, just say, boy, yeah? Oh, later, bye. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Ooh, God. Mm? The spirit of fuckboy nonsense is trying to come against me because I'm seeking the truth and trying to help. Ooh, these ladies. Please, 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 let me preach. Let me preach. The guys that rush things so much. Like, you've only known the boy for two weeks. You've only known the boy for three weeks. Like, really? Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, but you, you're you not going to ask a girl in two weeks because you don't know each other. I'm sorry. You don't know each other. <laughs> Bye. And you know the guys that use the tongue emojis? You know, the splish, splash emoji, peach emoji, eggplant emoji. Ooh, ah, la la. Sis, run, ah. Way. He's an half boy. Half with a capital half. Half boy. Is this even F? Anyway, that's all he knows. That's his language. All he wants to do is to do some cheeky jiggy. Higgy haga boy wants to do some cheeky jiggy. And if he tells you you're the only one, I'm sorry, but what do you mean I'm the only one? I'm th I'm sorry, yeah. I'm pretty sure he was talking to other girls before this, and now that he's telling you you're the only one so quick, you're the only one for me. Trust me, babe. I, mean, I ain't chatting to no one. I beg you, if you go through his phone, you'll really cry. Like, you'll really, really cry. So, like, I feel like girls, yeah, we believe anything. Like, we believe anything. We're so gullible. We believe anything. Anything that comes out of boy's mouth and pium, we say is the truth. Until when now you see it with your own eyes, you believe it. But when people are telling you, no, 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 you don't want to listen. You want to do giraffe. You want to do giraffe, you know? Walk around like, yeah, that's my bae. You don't know. That's other five girls' bae. Yeah. Like, is your bae really your bae? Huh? 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 And if he tells you, oh, listen, babe, I'm not a fuck boy, you know, I'm just me, you know, all I do is chill with the Mondays, I'm a boring guy. I'm sorry, yeah, but for you to tell me I'm a low-key guy, some things you don't need someone else to tell you about them. You just see them, you just know that, oh, yeah, he's very low-key, like, do you know what I mean, like, He's like this, you don't need to tell me. You don't need to tell me. Let me make my own evaluation, my own assessment. Assessment. So let me do that. Then I will believe you. Do you know what I mean? Like, girls, do your research. Do your assessment. You know, evaluate. Then believe the nigga. But not just take every word from his mouth and believe it. Like, I'm sorry, but sometimes that's how we end up getting ourselves into stupid shit. He only speaks to you after hours, ungodly hours. As soon as 12 goes bum.
and he's dropping you a message. I'm sorry, but for the last, God knows, 12 hours of the day, when it was, the light, the sun was shining outside. The sun was shining outside. What? Sorry, you're telling me you couldn't drop me a text then? But now, because it's hit 12 o'clock, past 12 o'clock, you want to be saying, hey, hey, cutie. Hey, sexy. How's you doing? I'm sorry, but... He's an F, he's an F boy. He's a hinky younger boy. Leave that boy, run away. You know, get your sliders and run away. If you're a girl who likes heels, get your heels and run away. Yeah, make sure you don't trip. Yeah, if you're a girl who likes trainers, get your trainers and run away. Get them craps and run away. You hear me? I don't want to now be hearing uh, story times. No, 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 no. These, these are all red flags that you can easily avoid and easily not have a headache. And not have a headache because it's so... These boys will give you a headache, a massive headache. I used to be the girl to say, you know what, it's nice to have a guy who has a headache. It's a bit of a headache, you know, it keeps the thing saucy. No, it doesn't. And then when we have that headache, the headache will turn into a migraine. My, oh, my, you are dead. So save yourself, sis. Save yourself. Okay, um, a guy who has no goals. You ask him, so, okay, so, what's the plan? What What's next with... Everything with your life, and it tells you, oh, nothing. I'm just, just seeing how life goes, isn't it? And you're here, you've got so many goals, you've got so many things that you want to achieve, and you, you're getting things popping, like, you know? And you want to get with someone who has nothing popping, like, how is. I don't see the coloration, I don't see how this is going to work, I don't see the magnet. I don't see. It. How is that going to work? How is it going to work? Because you're going to work hard and then you're like dragging someone along the way with you. And you're going to be nagging like, oh, come on, babe, you need to do this. You need to do this. It's going to make them feel less of a man. And you need a man who's already a man that he's, what's the word? He's motivating you. He's elevating you from one level to another. Like, if you find yourself in your girl and you're decreasing in terms of your glow is going lower and lower and lower, sis, leave that place and run. Because I feel like when you have a, ma a man, because you represent your man, so he knows that, okay, this is my woman. So, you know, I have to keep her in check. I have to make sure she's looking good. I have to make sure, you know, she's moving from one level to another. Do you know what I mean? Not like you're now doing riffraff. You're, you're looking like Samsung's rug at home. You know? No, 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 no. And if he never takes you out on a date and you're always always like speaking about it and it never happens that boy is a fat boy he's just wasting your time and he's just keeping you as property okay property number one property number two is usually for entertainment you know? and if he calls women bitches and hoes ah, i can't stress this enough the other day i was talking to my friend yeah and i'm like wait how would you feel if a guy calls you my bitch? You know, normally songs nowadays love to have that saying. Girls be like, oh, he called me my bitch. Oh, I'm his bitch. Oh. No. That whole word has no respect for you, sis, at all, at all, at all. I'm going to put some respect on my name. And you're like, yeah, he called me his bitch. I'm his bitch. No, 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 no. He should call you my queen, my woman, my majesty, my royalty, my goddess. There you go. All these things, not my bitch, my hoe. Jesus is Lord. Yeah, bye. <laughs> See you later. If he tells you he misses you, do you know what? With this one, I really don't understand it because it seems like. It's a thing that keeps being apparent in my life, yeah? Nigga will tell you, I miss you, everything, you know, but thinking about you, you know, like, I always have love for you, okay? You miss me, what are you going to do about it? Like, that's my favourite saying now. You miss me, yeah? I understand, that's fine, but what are you going to do about it? You can't tell me you miss me and then you're not, you're not putting actions into plan, then I'm sorry, it's going from one ear to another. And he doesn't even see you for months, for weeks, and he's been telling you, I miss you. You keep popping up, oh, I miss you. You post up a cute little pic, it tells I miss you. Oh, you're glowing. I'm, no, you don't miss me, nigga. No, you don't. You just want to keep, you just want to keep 
yourself around me make sure that no niggas are getting close to me like bye see you later toodles oh i can't stress this enough yet i feel like oh okay let me relax i feel like i feel like a lot of guys yeah they look for emotional support from girls or even just support in general a lot and we are very caring individuals like girls we're so caring we're so you know so loving and we always want to see you win like no matter what and if you support him and he's not supporting supporting back your vision i'm sorry he doesn't care for you he doesn't want to see you doing good he just want to elevate himself and then later on you find out he's so let's go what what you gonna say what you gonna say about that so give back the same the same energy that someone's giving to you take it with everything that you have and run because the way that someone treats you is the same way that you should treat like if you end up treating people way more than they treat you you're gonna find yourself getting hurt all the time all the time don't stay and be like oh maybe it's because of this give excuses we love to give excuses for guys we love to do that as women don't do that don't do that sis don't the moment you get a red red flag okay okay and then it's like five red flags sis say bye because i feel like when a man really wants you he's gonna make sure by any means he can get you. You don't have to do nothing. You don't have to put in the work. Yeah? You don't have to. We are not born predators. They are. And as well, when he pretends to care about your problems and the next minute when you ask when you talk about it again, he doesn't know. He doesn't have a clue what you're talking about. He's clueless. He doesn't know what you're talking about. I'm like, wait, so when I was pouring my heart to you, letting you know these are the things that are worrying me, these are the things that are stressing me, and now you don't remember. And if he doesn't motivate you and think, oh yeah, don't worry about it, babe. Like, how are we gonna make this work? Like, how, what can you do? If it doesn't do that, say bye. Like, say bye. And as well, so many people have expiry dates in your life. We love to hold on to things and holding on to the past. Don't like everyone has their expiry date. And some people you're not even meant to meet them, but you end up meeting them, bumping into them, and ruining your life. And you don't need that. You really don't need that. And um, if he tells you that he wants you, but he doesn't want a relationship. Okay, this is making my head hurt. Oh, how can you tell me you want me, but you're not ready for a relationship? So what are we doing right now? We play mums and dads? I'm sorry, like, what are we doing? Like, is this a child's play? I'm sorry, but what are we really doing? You're really wasting my time. But anyway, guys, this is basically the end of the video. And I hope you got a bit of two pence there and there. And, you know, and if I was talking about all these things and these things were ticking off in your head, like, oh, he does this, he does that. Sis, okay? Let me let, let me let you know as your big sis. Just let him go. Let him go go it's okay it's okay a better man is gonna come around okay okay so make sure you tell a friend tell a friend because i've got so much in store for you guys i've got so much planned for you guys and thank you so much for nearly 7k subscribers and i'm going to be doing a give away which is going to be a morphe palette um and i'm gonna give it to any of you wonderful subscribers and all you have to do is to comment down below giveaway and i'm gonna post a post on my instagram um and it will be talking about my giveaway and this is my instagram i'm gonna put it right there so you guys can check it out and this is my snapchat so you guys check it out so you can be updated when i'm actually gonna do the giveaway which really hopefully should be at the end of the month that's when i'm looking to do it so end of august so look out for that post and make sure you do comment down below giveaway if you do want to win a morphe palette which is the 350 palette i'm gonna put it right here how it looks like and everything and um yeah i'll be looking to choose a winner so make sure you follow me subscribe make sure you're subscribed to my channel you follow me on my instagram and you also follow beauty angelus on my instagram which is my business page so if you do want to get your hair done you want to look slayed make sure that you do follow beauty angelus that's where i make all my wigs for all my customers i braid hair everything so make sure you do follow that and i'm excited for the giveaway but anyway don't forget to subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend and i love you guys so much and don't be a fool okay don't be a fool these fuck words will really fuck you over i'm sorry for swearing but they will really will so you know be intelligent because you're, you're smart okay you're smart 
know what? You're loyal, okay? <laughs> like, like, Georgia, I'm loyal, so don't be loyal to people that ain't gonna be loyal to you. Oh, 